Hey everybody, this is the How to Tie Knots channel, and in this video I'm going to cover the knots that you need to know in order to complete the Small Boat Sailing Merit Badge. So, as of right now, under the uh, items that you need to do to complete it, it's point seven, part A. And the first knot that you have to do is the square knot, also known as the reef knot. Now hopefully all you Boy Scouts out there should already know how to do the square knot. But nevertheless, I will demonstrate that one anyways. So to do the square knot, you're going to take right over left and put in a half knot. And then left over right and put in a half knot. And then tighten it just like this and that is how you do a square knot or a reef knot and then I'll do that one more time so you will do right over left half knot left over right half knot and tighten and that is the square knot okay the next one that you have to know how to do is the clove hitch and for that I'm going to bring my trusty weight over that I used to tie onto and you're going to take your rope bring it around the object that you want to hook it to and then bring it get myself a little more there bring that over then bring it around again and then tuck it under that diagonal just like that and that's what it should look like when you're done so one more time you're gonna bring it under around then across your loaded line there under again and then bring that tuck that tail under the diagonal just like that and that's how you tie a clove hitch. The next knot is the two half hitches. Now, believe it or not, but there's actually a similarity between the clove hitch and the two half hitches. So, as you may already know how to do, you take for the two half hitches, you're going to bring it around, make a loop, tuck that in through the loop pull it up against there and then you're going to tuck that around make another loop and then tuck that tail through just like that now if you look at this knot you're going to notice that it looks almost identical to the clove hitch You've got your main line coming around like that, you've got a diagonal, and then your tail coming out on the opposite side, just like that. So really, the two half hitches is almost like a clove hitch that is tied on itself. Um, and then you've got, it's a noose knot, and so it'll slide and tighten up around the object. So I'll tie this one more time for demonstration purposes. So you're going to bring the end of your line around like this, make a, I'm going to bring it around, make a loop, pull it through, and then bring it around again like this, and tighten it up. And then you should have a clove hitch resembling knot on there like that. Okay, the next one that you need to know how to do is the bowline. Okay, this is another really great knot to know. And actually, I do need that. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to bring that around like that. Move that off camera so I've got a little more space to work on. And to tie the bowline in your longer line, I've got my tail in my right hand, I've got my loaded side in my left hand. Uh, you need to put a loop in your loaded end. You're going to take your tail, bring it out of that loop, 
around and then back into the loop and then pull like that and it will tighten up. Now the bowline is not a type of noose knot so you can apply load to that and that loop is going to stay the same size. And so one more time you're going to you got your tail line in your right hand, loaded line in your left, you're going to make a loop. The rabbit comes out of the hole around the tree and then back down into the hole again and then pull that tight. Uh, easy, easy not to do and a great one to know. Okay, the next one on the list is the cleat hitch. Okay, now I don't have a cleat on hand, so I made myself a little makeshift cleat and hooked it on a little piece of plywood here. So, what you're going to do for your cleat hitch is if you got it tied off to some rigging or whatever the case may be. Now, one thing to remember is you do not want to start on the near horn. Each one, of, each one of these sides is called a horn. You don't want to start on the near one. You want to start on your far horn. So you're going to bring that around and you're going to bring it under the other one before you start making your diagonals. Then you're going to bring that over, under, a diagonal across, under, oops, bring that under, diagonal across, under, diagonal across, under, diagonal across, and do that, you know, a few times like that. And at this point, the rope that's going to be on your boat is probably not going to be quite as uh, rigid as this rope is because if I let this go it starts coming undone so yours will be a little bit softer most likely but if it isn't and you need to uh, make sure that it doesn't come undone what you can do is you can put in uh, some sort of a knot that you know you can connect to uh, your main line there you can do like a double overhand uh, knot pull that through and then you can just slide you can slide it up on your uh, main line there and that will keep your uh, rope from coming undone from your cleat. Uh, there's a second way that you can attach a line to a cleat um, and for this one I think it's a little bit simpler is that you can take this you're gonna to go to your far horn again bring it under under that far one a diagonal under your like this and I, I misspoke that's your near horn rather under the near one a diagonal under the far horn and then at this point you are going to put in a little loop like this and then you're going to put that loop over your near horn and then tighten it up just like that. And that's all you have to do. And I've got that rope fairly tight and that is not going anywhere. So that are that's the two ways that you can tie onto a cleat. And so now let's see there's one more knot that you got to be able to do and that's the figure eight knot. Now I'm assuming that when they say the figure eight knot they're just meaning a, a figure eight knot that you'd use like as a stopper knot. Uh, there's many many different types of figure eight knots and variations on it but I'm assuming this is the one that they're talking about. So all you need for this is just one piece of rope and you're going to make a loop, bring your tail in under, and then tuck it back into that first loop, and then pull it tight. And as you can see, you can kind of see a, a figure eight shape in the knot, and then you'll just pull that tight like so. Um, 
And like I said, I think this is the one that they're referring to. I don't remember from when I took it. If this is the one, I assume it probably is. So one more time, you're going to take your rope, put it over your main line, bring it under it, and then tuck it back in through that loop and pull it tight. And that is how you make a figure eight knot. So I hope this helps all you out there. And if you've got any questions, uh, put them down in the comments. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it the thumbs down. Uh, please subscribe. That's always great. And I will get you guys next time.